Brazil has been underestimated on the world stage. I think until President Lula, it was probably underappreciated. I think he has operated. I mean, it, it's going to be very interesting to see when, when he has to step down in a few months' time, how his successor does. That will be extremely important on a world, on a world stage. Brazil, particularly in the context of the world economy in the last two years, has been one of the few countries where there has continued to be stable or even minimal economic growth. I mean, we in Western Europe, in the UK or France or Germany or Italy and Spain, would be grateful for the economy to be flat or up 1%. What we've seen since Lehman Brothers is obviously an impact on Brazil and indeed the other countries in the BRICS and Next 11, but it has not been as great as we've seen elsewhere. Brazil, I think, has a reputation of managing its economy. The central bank, its monetary and fiscal policies have been stronger and better than many other countries. You're seeing the growth of Brazilian companies, not just in Brazil, not just in Latin America, but on a world, world stage, with greater confidence I think than they've ever had before. What's happening now is that people are very focused on relative growth. The relative growth that we're getting in Brazil, which I would say is a mixture of consumer, you know, the growth of the middle class, the growth of consumption, but also the growth of investment. The companies that we deal with are all, if, if they have big operations in Latin America, as some have done for many years, they want to make them bigger. If they, are, if they have operations in Latin America and Brazil that have been smaller, and if they've tended to ignore Brazil, they're now focused on Brazil to a much greater degree than they ever have before. Our, our operations here, as I say, we had about $500 million of revenues, here, mainly in, in uh, Sao Paulo and Rio de Janeiro and Brasilia, but spread throughout the country as well, because we look at Brazil not just being two or three cities we see it as being a much more diverse operation. So we will continue to do that in advertising, uh, in media, in, in media planning and buying, uh, in market research, uh, in public relations and public affairs, in branding and identity, in healthcare communications, which is a growing area, and last but not least, direct, digital, and interactive. I think people see Brazil as a destination for investment, they see strong companies being built, built in Brazil that are producing in Brazil, selling in Brazil, but marketing abroad. So worldwide brands, just like we see in China and India, are being built in, in Brazil, and there has to be continuous focus on building those Brazilian companies outside. Free trade is critically important to that. There has to be a strong two-way openness between Brazil and externally, and externally with Brazil. But there's, there's no doubt in my mind you're going to see very significant flows of money invested in Brazil, and then very significant exports and development. I mean, it is a balance between consumption and investment. <laughs>